well I've just spent a, a happy hour or so, a bit more probably, cleaning up the workshop, turning it from less of a spray shop and back into a, a, a workshop. Um, these are those big, uh, you might have heard me talk about uh, big shelf units that I'm doing for this job. Uh, I chatted with them, uh, I chatted with Andy on the podcast about them. These are they, we're about to get to the stage where I need to start nailing those together. But it's taken a long time to get this, the spray stuff out of here. I'm still not finished with that. Uh, that'll all have to come in again at one point. And it's kind of depressing, look at this. Uh, the workbench down here. So everything I own is covered in a fine layer of spray. And unfortunately, that's not overspray, that's actual spray spray. So that's gonna to have to be sanded off. I think, uh, I think those new workbench tops are gonna to come sooner rather than later. Um, but in the midst of all this, uh, I just put out the video about um, the door and drawer finger pulls. Uh, and I know Andy and me had, in the podcast had a little bit of a chat about, you know, some of the comments we get are pretty crazy. Uh, 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 some of them are incredibly useful. Actually, the majority of them are very supportive and extremely useful. Um, you know, sometimes it's just things that we haven't thought of. Sometimes it's just things that we know but may have forgotten. And sometimes it's just things that we hadn't got around to thinking of yet. You know, the pressure of work, you get a little bit snow blind uh, with all this kind of stuff. And in the draw and door finger pull video, um, a, a number of people said, well, you know, can't you do a template or support the cut on the off side of the, of the cut? Uh, and the truth is, yeah, you could do that, but it's, it's a bit more faffing around. The doors are all different sizes uh, and it's harder to do. Um, a few people said, "Well, you know, can't you can't you do that in a in a table?" Uh, again, doing it in a table on a fence. Well, the long side of the cut, right, this side, this bit is fairly easy to do, but to get that bit in straight and true is much harder because obviously all of these are different sizes. So, one, you know, the other way you could do it probably is to put the template on the underside and do it that way with a bearing guided cutter. Uh, but then how do you, you know, the, the, the overlow scribe bit, it's a big bit, has a lot of pull to it, and I'd want to be able to fix the template onto the face pretty firmly, uh, with, but without damaging it, because obviously these are a sprayed finish, uh, and looking rather gorgeous in this lovely 10% sheen uh, Ticarilla Helmi eggshell paint. Um, uh, one of the things that uh, came up in the comments was from uh, Ian Phillip. Uh, a couple of people have mentioned this, but Ian was first. And he said, yeah, you know, been there, done all that. What I do, he said, is that when I use that kind of finger pull cutter, uh, I just butt two of them back to back. And then I just put a rectangular template over the top. And he did say uh, that it probably wouldn't have been so easy in this circumstance because the draw sizes are all different or, or, and the door sizes are all different. But you know, jing, yeah of course, if you, if you do that then both sides of the cut are supported by exactly the same material because it's, you know, the, the doors are the same thickness. Uh, so yes, absolutely, uh, thank you Ian for mentioning that one. Uh, uh, you know, it's so simple, it's a, a stroke of genius. Uh, I'm fairly sure that, you know, given enough typewriters, I could have come up with a work of Shakespeare. Uh, I, I'd have come up with the idea myself, but you know, uh, uh, just uh, you know, butting two of the door or drawer faces together, putting a rectangular template over them, uh, and then you could hog out most of the waste with a bearing guided straight bit, and then just go in there to the right depth with your uh, overlow scribe cut to get the finger pull. Uh, uh, yes, of course, that's the way you would do it. Uh, why, why wouldn't you do it that way? Uh, in my defence, I only had about an hour to do nine of these, uh, and it was a real choker when I discovered that you know I could just it, it didn't work as well as the test cut because it was a different size. Um, so yeah, thanks to uh, everybody who's uh, come up with uh, good ideas uh, for making these cuts. Thanks in particular to Ian 
uh, Ian Phillip uh, for, for sharing that technique. I will definitely file that one away for next time, uh, but there's never going to be a next time. Uh, that's it for this week. Uh, just a quick one to say thank you very much, uh, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.